so great to be back in Annapolis for the United States Powerboat Show after it was canceled in 2020 due to the pandemic. I was able to get to the show on the VIP day on Thursday and it was absolutely beautiful weather, not very crowded, and it was a great chance to fly my drone, walk the docks, and see some of the new boats and products for sale at the boat show. So the Hinkley 35 debuting at Annapolis Power Boat Show. It just debuted at the Newport Boat Show a few weeks ago, and it's going to be up in Lauderdale in a few weeks as well. Really beautiful boat, beautiful finishes, and glad I got to check it out here in Annapolis. So welcome to Exshore. Um, we are a Swedish manufacturing uh, boat, 100% um, electric boat. Uh, this is our first time in Annapolis and would love to show you what we do. So how long does a battery charge last? Sure. How fast does it go? Right, okay, so, so our range on this boat is about 100 nautical miles at slower speeds, and those slower speeds are about five to seven knots. Okay. Um, so that really kind of equates to about 20 hours of use time out in the water. What type of battery uh, so they're, does it use? They're Two massive, uh, essentially uh, lithium-ion batteries. Where um, are they located? They are located aft. If you look at the hatch that's right here, right. Um, so they're there, and they're about a third of the weight of the boat, keeping the center of gravity extremely low, um, and making for a real performance-driven, driven opportunity out in the water. And is it quiet? Super quiet. Boat's on right now. Oh, the boat is running right now. Boat, boat is running right now. Seeker 74 Predator. It's huge. I can't wait to check it out inside. It is definitely one of the bigger boats at the show. Argo is a navigation and social boating app that we've been using all summer on the bay. 
Um, we've been planning our trips with it and using it for navigation and starting to also message different friends that are using the app. It's a free app, so definitely worth giving it a shot. Um, we've been using it on the bay all summer, like I said, uh, and it's worked really well for us. Looking for more entry level boats, there's some great bay liners here. You could get for $350 a month if you get a bay liner. That's kind of cool. Here's a Carolina skiff that's 65000 which is a pretty good price for a boat. If you wanted to go out and do some fishing, this looks like an affordable option. Here's another new boat launching. It's the Seapro 320 DLX. Hope you like this video and subscribe for more from My Boat Life.